the dog fence. Stretching for almost 6,000 kilometers, it keeps dingoes from moving south into sheep country, and it's high enough to stop ruse. When it rains up north, ruse attracted by the sight of the clouds and the smell of rain are stopped dead in their tracks on the dry side. But the fence does help the ruse in the park to some extent. There are far fewer dingoes this side. And for now, the fence is no problem at all. The park's got all the food and water that Ruby and Elvis need. When it's hot and dry, all tracks lead to water. And not only ruse, but all sorts of other animals, like emus, make the paths rather busy. Roos are powerhouses of energy. Their hearts are one-third bigger than a deer or antelope, and they travel with the minimum of effort. At high speeds, they have the best, the most energy-efficient form of animal locomotion, hopping. If they keep their daytime movements to a minimum, Ruby and Elvis only need a drink every five to seven days, even in the hottest weather. Roos are very nervous as they approach water. In the distant past, Ruse had a lot of predators. Marsupial lions and wolves, giant snakes, and lightning-fast monstrous lizards. Evolution has honed Ruse to perfection. Only the fastest and wariest survive. The age-old strategy of ambush at water is now employed by their modern enemies. Just being here is very dangerous. Every roux, no matter how thirsty, has to be extra alert. It's a false alarm. It's only the emus who finally make it to the water's edge, 